Let's talk about soul searching. So many times when we are going to God to hear the still small voice, it's hard to hear that voice because of our own screaming of uh, fear and worry and anxiety and confusion that drowned out God's voice. It has been said in the soul searching of our lives, we are to stay quiet so that we can hear God and all that God wants to say in our hearts. Where it talks about hearts in the Bible, it talks about the inner mind, not the beating in the chest, but the inner mind that causes the reactions and actions in your whole life. In Romans 2, verse 15, it says, they show that in their hearts they know what is right and wrong. In times of crisis, it is especially hard to trust our own instinct because our inner voice, our conscious, our intuition can be drowned out by that fear, worry, anxiety, or confusion. That's why in such times, we must do whatever it takes to look deep within our own hearts where we're sensitive to God's Spirit, and where we usually know right from wrong. Our best and hopefully most trusted advisor is God's quiet voice. And it's up to us to listen carefully, even when the world seems filled with noise and static even when our own mind is filled with noise and static. Are you facing an important decision? Well, pray about it. And then spend the day quietly listening to God's whispering deep within your heart. And when you listen to God, you can be absolutely certain that the answer will be the right one for you.